What are you thinking, when you see this title and thumbnail? Let me guess. You feel some sort of sad emotions right? Just about two weeks ago, she made an announcement video about being pregnant. Only four days ago she lost the baby. But that's not even the worst part, what if I told you that she faked her pregnancy for money? Okay guys, I lost the baby and I don't know exactly where I put it. It, it has to be around here somewhere. Okay, so some of you guys are probably wondering. No, I am not pregnant. And I'm sure some of you are shocked. I'm sure some of you are not surprised at all. I'm sure some of you don't care. But some of you might be asking. Would you believe that all of this was for her to boost her patron subscribers? And she uses the reason of parasocial relationship as the excuse. Now I won't talk for her. Let's listen and let her explain why. Content creator, the line between entertainment and reality is very blurred. Your audience will become very attached to an abstraction of yourself. And the odd thing is that this connection can become very personally meaningful to the viewers whilst not being personally meaningful to the creator itself. Your attention is monetarily valuable to me. And unless you have some narcissistic tendencies, which a lot of us do, the experience of having a parasocial relationship with your audience can be very uncomfortable. I don't believe anybody who would congratulate someone being pregnant is a parasocial thing. It's a life-changing event, even coming from a stranger. I believe that if you wanted to have a conversation about parasocial relationships then it should have have been on a separate video. I'll give you an example. When I was 15 and I first started making content, I had a lot of people threaten to every day. And if you could imagine, this was not fun. If someone on the internet is sending you messages like that, then that isn't parasocial behavior. That's someone being an asshole in general terms. I don't condone that behavior. But if you want real behavior, try joining the YouTuber dream community. And the problem with this, beyond the obvious, is that there's no meaningful way to respond to this interaction. The offender has anonymity, and in some way, so do I. So I'm not treating them like a real person. They're not treating me like a real person. You're not real and I'm not real, and none of this is real. Oh, but your audience's money is real, so it's time to pay up. And yet, the effect that we have on each other is still very real. I come on the, I come, nope, I am, hold on. I will present myself on the internet because I want to desperately be seen. I lied about being pregnant as a joke. <laughs> Pregnancy under strenuous circumstances is funny. The joke is not that the audience was gullible enough to believe that I was pregnant. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Do you know why people say that large content creators always fake their videos? It's because of stunts like this. You are just being disingenuous towards those who are actually pregnant. And yes, you did actually think your audience was gullible and believed what you said was honesty. And the most irritating thing about this is that she's going charge people money to talk about sensitive information about her life, and things going on behind the scenes, which creates parasocial relationships in the first place, but only behind a paywall. The joke is you connected to something that wasn't real, and I have become something that isn't real. Come here to find this connection over and over again, and we don't really find it until now, when you subscribe to my Patreon. Look at that smirk, she knew what she was doing. Inspired you to, to make this fake pregnancy video. Money! Oh yeah, that's fucking right. This entire stunt has been an advertisement for my Patreon. I guess I shouldn't expect much from content posted online. But I assume when people fake stuff they're usually not this blunt about it. To the point of asking their viewers for money after straight up lying to them. That is some other world shit, but I assume viewers of her channel are still going to send her some money regardless so. I only have one thing to say to that. <laughs> <You> stupid. <laughs>